Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron here from Break the Internet. Welcome back to another Snapchat video today on the channel. Now today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Snapchat update 10.1.0, which is kind of insane because last week, just seven days ago, 10.0 came out, uh, but with 10.1, it's gonna allow you to link out to other websites, which is kind of a big deal. We saw this with Instagram a couple months ago when they allowed you to put the at and the person's name within your Instagram story, click it and get linked to their profile. And also with the verified pages, you were able to swipe up and then go to a specific website this is kind of the same thing, but with snap codes. So make sure you sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. There's a, it gets a little bit tricky at sometimes, and you're not able to do it in certain ways, but we'll explain all of that in today's video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so moving on over to the phone section of today's video, we're gonna go ahead and open up Snapchat. And right here, when we get to the main section of Snapchat, we can swipe down go over to settings, swipe down to snap codes, and we are brought to this really cool kind of like generated snap code. I don't believe you can really use it for anything, but it's kind of just a nice, nice touch added there from Snapchat. So down here we have create snap code and my snap codes. So from here, we can basically click create snap code, and this is where it's going to give you a link where you can link out to any website that you want. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Twitter. So it's gonna be twitter.com slash Where's this slash? Aaron FPS. So what we're gonna do here now is click create. And what it's gonna do, it's going to generate a snap code for that specific thing. So my name is the Snapchat guy, Aaron FPS, and it's gonna give you like the full link um, of the Snapchat. And what I can do here is that I can click to tap to add the image. And what it's gonna do is gonna bring images from my Twitter account. So these are kind of just things um, from my Twitter, little gifts and stuff that I've uploaded. Um, what it's gonna do is gonna give you a picture and you can now resize it to whatever you want to make it for that specific snap code, and you can click save. So when I do that, my snap code is now generated, and this is a snap code that I can now use to link out to another website. So the only thing about this is you can't actually put it within your Snapchats and get a screenshot of it and then use it. Does that make any sense? I'll explain it. So to actually use it, I'm gonna have to go to a Snapchat app on a separate phone or a different phone, and right here I have it in my phone. So then what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to hold down on it and scan it like I would any other snap code. Now it's gonna say open link, and then it brings me to the Snapchat guy on Twitter. So if I open link, it's actually gonna open it up within the Snapchat application, and now I can go ahead and scroll around and do um, anything and basically use Twitter like I would normally. So just another example, if I go to uh, my other snap code that I had on there, my snap codes, my YouTube channel, I can now scan it on my other phone. Oops. And now it's gonna bring me to a link where it says open link for YouTube. I'm gonna get it to load up here. And it's going to open to my YouTube channel. So keep in mind that this is not going to work um, just to take a snapshot or a screenshot of that. So I can't just put this in my Snapchat story and get people to, to add my friend. Because, for example, let's just say this is a code, my YouTube code was on my Snapchat story. If I was to take a screenshot of that, and then go over to my add friends and then go to add by snap code and click that. It's gonna bring up this message to say, oops, you can only add Snapchatters from this event or from this um, area. So the only thing about that, I mean, it's a really cool feature. If they change it to the point where you can actually screenshot and still add people like that, or maybe as soon as you screenshot, it like directly brings you to that link, it'll be a lot more beneficial for the people or the businesses or the influencers or whoever's making these Snap codes to actually get directly linked to their website. Right now, I mean, because you're able to do this, I, I see it being used on like billboards and maybe like like restaurant menus, business cards, and stuff like that. So I can, when I have my open my Snapchat app and I'm checking my Snapchats and I see maybe something on a menu to bring me to like an online menu, I can then take my phone, take a screenshot or a picture of that snap code that's on there. And then it brings me to their website to where I can either look at their website or maybe even fill out some kind of survey. Also with a snap code right here, I can either save it to my camera roll, I can edit it, or I can send it to anywhere else. So if I want to email to somebody, I want to message it to somebody, or just of course save the image. I can then go into, let's just say my, whoop, let's go to my Twitter account, wherever my Twitter is down there, obviously right in front of my face. And then from here, I can go up to my tweets I can tweet that picture, 
And then I can then tweet it out to my audience and say, hey, check out my website, blah, blah, blah. Um, obviously, it doesn't have to be this one, but if let's just say someone's on like another phone, a business phone or something like that, that's the only way that they're gonna be able to do it. They can't screenshot it. They're gonna have to have their separate phone and actually take a picture of it. So at this, like I said, at this current point in time, it might not be the best for you and it might not be like the most practical way to get your website out there. But if you wanted to go through that work and make snap codes for all of your websites, then you could definitely do, throw, do so through the Snapchat application. And that is gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a big fat like on this video. Of course, social support gets this video out to so many more people that may be confused about Snapchat, the entire app, whatever it may be. If you guys have any questions, as always, please leave them down in the comment section below. Of course, guys, my name is Aaron from Break the Internet, your number one stop shop for Snapchat tips, tricks, updates, and everything you need to know about Snapchat. Of course, guys, as always, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.